here today in sunny Georgia. Springtime here, beautiful, warm weather. I'm going to show this 2015 barbecue porch concession trailer. Pewter in color, 22 foot long, extra 3 foot V nose, 8.5 foot wide, and 7 foot high. This thing is fully loaded, has all you need to cook all your barbecue needs and more. If you're interested in one of these, you can email me at mlj963 at gmail.com. My name is Marty. Thank you for watching, and you have a great day. Do a walk around. Comes with a 10,000 watt 50 amp electric start generator. More than enough power to power this whole trailer. Got the extended tongue there, 60 inch triple. On the rear porch, 8 by 8, it has a 5 foot reverse flow barbecue smoker, offset fire box with rib box over top, Got two burners in it. You can use the burners as a fire starter, you can use it as your heat source. Put you an iron skillet over top of it. You get plenty of smoke. Chunk of wood in that iron skillet. Cook for hours. Easy to maintain. Easy to main the, maintain the temperatures. Two propane tanks there independently controlled. Stainless steel behind the smoker on the walls there. Take a look at the inside. Got a grease 10 pound fire extinguisher there, work table, four foot. That's your three by five window with screens, countertop, hands free paper towel, soap. Don't forget to wash your hands. Two switches, one for your pump, one for your hot water. Sinks are in the V-nose. 10 by 14, 10 deep, triple. Hand sink, 10 by 14, 5 deep. 100 amp panel, 50 amp service. 20 spaces, using 12 of them. Any extra plugs down below? We got holding tank, pump, hot water. There's your lifeline that plugs into side your trailer to your generator.
all housed in aluminum cabinet. Plenty of room for shelving up here. Love your window. When all the walls are aluminum and insulated. Ceiling also aluminum insulated. Rooftop air conditioner, 13,500 BTU. Here's your straps here to strap your refrigerator and freezer to the wall. 23 cubic feet. Upright. It's got the locking wheels. Self-closing door. Electronically controlled. Three shelves in it. Here's your exhaust fan, aluminum, six foot. Got your lights in it. I like to use them fluorescent. Much easier on the eyes. Aluminum removable grease filters. Grease comes out of the filters into this trough, down the trough, into your tray, and then you empty your tray out when needed. Control the fan, switch for the fan, a variable speed, so if you're not using everything, you can turn it down. There's your light switch. Got stainless steel on the back walls. This is not your typical aluminum turnaround backwards as you see in most so-called concession traders. I don't know how they pass code, but uh, they do it. There's your four burner hot plate, 12 by 12 on each one of them. 24 inches, 24 inch by 24 flat griddle, 3 quarter inch iron plate there as you can see. Don't have to worry about warpy, just all commercial equipment. Easy to light your pilots and adjust them there. You can either turn them off or adjust the height of them. Got shelves down here. Oh, that one's a little dirty. It's still new though. I you that. Let's catch all your crumbs and stuff as you see it's already done. Then you got your deep fryer here, it's 35 pound. Thermostatically controlled on that. Got two baskets, nickel plated. Down here you got your thermostat, easy to light pilot. You got your tube bear that you put on the end there, drain your grease. This also has a quick connect on the gas. A couple screws in the bottom, you can remove it, get it out here and clean it. You got all mold resistant gas lines. Equipment stand for the equipment. Also, you've got a shelf below it there. Aluminum tread plate floors. Makes it easy of cleaning. Couple fluorescent lights there, four footers. Also got one on the porch here. Right there's your 12 volt DC that you hook up to your vehicle as you're transporting it. Thirty-six inch half door there for the porch. Flush locks. 